Welcome to the Lemination News. In today's episode, we talk with Aaron Thomas about the construction that is going on at the Silver Reef Hotel, Casino, and Spa. We also talk with Commodity Foods about the upcoming sockeye canning make and take. And to keep you updated with what's going on in and around the Lummi Reservation, our list of events. Joined here today by Aaron Thomas, who is the marketing director at the Silver Reef Casino Hotel and Spa. How are you doing today? Doing really well. Awesome. So how is construction going? Construction's on time, on budget. Uh, where, you know, a lot of folks have been asking us, where's the pillars at? When are you gonna actually start doing something? <laughs> well, we've been doing it for quite about since March when we broke ground. And uh, what we're, what you'll, they, we ended up taking all the dirt from the preload and taking it away, putting it some across the street and some other parts of the reservation. And that helped us to compact all the, of, it, of the dirt down. It's not meant for, you know, mi hundreds and millions of pounds of steel and concrete. Right. Uh, so now what they're doing is they're creating the utilities part of it so that we can get water and, and sewer and stuff hooked up in there. Right. Uh, very soon you'll start seeing them put the pillars up. Awesome. Uh, when we last spoke, the Cigar Lounge just opened, so how has that been doing? Cigar Lounge is doing really well. Um, you know, uh, when we decided to close Portage Bay Bar and Lounge, the lounge part down, was because even though we had a lot more folks go in there, uh, their, uh, how much they were spending was a lot less. Uh, for example, now with a cigar, it costs you eight bucks just to get a cigar, mm -hmm. where it was costing you five bucks for a beer. Right. Um, and when a person smokes a cigar, normally they want higher premium spirits, which cost anywhere from you know 11 to 14 dollars. So right. you've got uh, more affluent people coming into the to the casino, which is what we always like. Oh, yes. um, and so the headcount isn't nearly as much as it was in the uh, Portage Bay Bar and Lounge when we opened it. Uh, but it, as it is, uh, the cigar lounge has uh, got a lot more revenue coming in for the tribe, which is what counts in the end. And we're not spending a lot of money on um, you know, having to put uh, bands in there, which cost us more money, and having to put them up in our hotel, which we could put in uh, you know, players that could be sitting in there rather than a, uh, a band member. Right, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So speaking of business, how has business been? Uh, business has been going really well. You know, uh, this last weekend we had uh, three major events. We had our car show, uh, we had two Beach Boys concerts and uh, we broke our uh, headcount record. We never had 8,000 people in our casino at one time. And uh, we also broke our revenue record for the weekend. So uh, things are on the up and up. I think a lot of people are excited for the uh, expansion. A lot of folks are happy that we're not dealing with uh, inside the casino anymore. <laughs> Um, and then we're not taking um, their favorite parking spot away. So uh, uh, customer service is at an all-time high right now, and uh, our players are coming back. So we're very happy. Awesome. You have any other news for us? Um, you know, just our advertising is changing a little bit. We're going to be doing a lot more fun advertising. You'll see on TV or in print ads. Uh, it's going to be a little goofy. Uh, which is what we want, you know, a lot of folks, uh, you know, I noticed that it was a lot kind of stiff advertising, didn't have a lot of life to it, so we decided to uh, 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 do uh, uh, more fun and, and lifeful um, TV and print ads, so uh, you'll see some things, you go, what the heck is he doing? Because <laughs> it's different, and that's what we're looking for, is to try to, we get bombarded with so many advertisements throughout the day that our, my goal is to try to make sure that you remember Silver Reef. And so as long as we don't go over the line and we're not doing things that are uh, against our tribal morals, then we're good. But uh, it'll be fun, it'll be interactive. People will want to wait for the next commercial to come out just because it's uh, different. So awesome. we're pretty excited. Those will be airing sometime in mid to late October. Awesome. Look forward to seeing those. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. Uh, we're joined here today by the Kamala Squad. Hi, my name is Andrea Point. I'm the coordinator of the Tushin Ed program here at Commodity Foods. Um, today, me and my sister, Berna Peters, are here doing a job with the community today. Um, how it works is 
anybody is more than welcome to come down and can jam with us, bring their own jams, our jars. <laughs> but if not, go ahead and bring your, your own jars. Your own jars. Um, Everything's provided. We're doing strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. Um, some of them are got jalapeno in them to make the jalapeno hot jam. This year. Mm -hmm. and then we'll be doing this until 3.30 today. And then also next week we'll be canning sockeye salmon. So. You're more than welcome to come, bring your own jars. Um, that'll also start at 8.30 in the morning on the 9th and 10th of September. Okay. Events. 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 Okay, let's get into some events. Wednesday, September 3rd and Thursday, September 4th, Kamaz will be hosting a jam make and take. Also on Thursday, September 4th, the Noon Walk will be taking place at Lummi Fitness Center. And join us at the Lummi Youth Rec Youth Campus to start off the fall sports season for our amazing young Lummi athletes. With a potluck style meal, Lummi Youth Rec will supply the main courses and drinks. You may contact Sarah Tom for more information. At 360-380-6647. Friday, September 5th, your Lummi Blackhawks will be taken on Adrian High School, which will be taking place in Duffer, Oregon. Kickoff is set at 4 p.m. Also on the 5th, Lummi Kamaz will be hosting a nutritional education demo in Nooksack. Saturday, September 6th, Oyster Fest. Celebrating the gift of clean water will be taking place at Bella Woods Acres from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Entry for all is free. The Lummi Swan Clan dancers will also be performing. Monday, September 8th, Blackhawks JV vs. LaConnor will take place in Lummi with the game time set at 5 p.m. Tuesday, September 9th, and Wednesday, September 10th, Kamads will be hosting a sockeye canning make and take for the community. Don't forget to bring your own jars. Wednesday, September 10th, Behavioral Health will be hosting a second Medicine of the Heart event at the Wachleum to continue the recognition of 70 tribal members. Thursday, September 11th, there will be a noon walk at the Lummi Fitness Center. Also on the 11th, Lady Hawk to Volleyball they will be playing Tulalip in Lummi at 5 p.m. Friday, September 12th, the Lummi Blackhawks will be taking on the Nia Bay Red Devils in Nia Bay with kickoff set at 5 p.m. Saturday, September 13th, there will be a Dorley Solomon Fun Run Walk at noon. Monday, September 15th, will be the first day of school for Lummi Head Start. Also, the sockeye opening has been extended through Friday, September 5th until 9 a.m. And there will be no sale of kings. And with all the children returning to school, please be watchful of young children at their bus stops, crossing the road, and walking to and from school. And also a reminder to give school buses room to see you. All right, once again, we thank you for turning in to the Lamination News. Thank you.